Welcome back to Midday. We are talking about a really exciting fundraiser coming up for the Kamloops Hospice taking place uh, April 6th, so this Saturday night. We've got Mark Batuzzi joining us beside me here who is uh, really uh, involved in this fundraiser for the hospice and also a member of the Beyond Brass band. And we also have uh, Ken McClellan joining us who is a Beyond Brass musical leader. And we have on the far end there, Pamela Young, who's the community coordinator, uh, program coordinator for the Kamloops Hospice. Thanks to the three of you for joining us. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, uh, nice let's just get right into it and, and I want to ask you what is uh, the fundraiser all about? Uh, it's Beyond Brass is the is the main event, right? Isn't that right, right, Mark? This is the fourth year we've done this okay. and it's a fundraiser for Kamloops Hospice Association and uh, all the musicians are from Kamloops. Before we've done a variety show and this year we're going to use the one and only big band from Kamloops, Kick Beyond Brass which Kim leads, yeah. and uh, starting at 7.30, uh, they'll be dancing and uh, it'll be an enjoyable evening. Fantastic. So, Ken, yeah. you've uh, been working hard on, on a repertoire for Saturday oh, yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got a good mix. We've got stuff from right from the sort of the traditional 1930s, 40s big band era right up into the uh, fairly modern stuff. So yeah. we've got a good mix. And, How many yeah. members will be... Playing, There'll be know? probably something like 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got uh, one guy isn't going to be there, but other than That's that, we're running with about seven saxes right now and yeah. four trombones and five trumpets in a rhythm section. So Wow, yeah. wonderful. That's exciting. Yeah. So Pamela, obviously just uh, being part of the Kamloops Hospice, mm -hmm. um, uh, knowing how important fundraising is, of course, for you guys, uh, what does this mean to you? It means a lot to us because, you know, Mark and his as his group have been fantastic over the last number of years and developing that relationship with them and helping not just raise funds for hospice but also raise awareness for hospice and the night is, is lovely um, because it's really open to anybody who wants to just come and participate and it's all by donation so really um, anybody can attend and this year we're putting the monies towards some medical equipment that we really are desperately needing oh, at hospice and we are a free hospice one of four in the province so I think people forget we're not run by our health authority we do have a contract with interior health but we do have to fundraise a tremendous amount of money so this type of evening is such a fun evening it's it's a great uh, night uh, bringing awareness to hospice but also featuring lots of wonderful musicians from Kamloops and their commitment to our community too I think the timing too couldn't be better on this for this year Pamela yeah. because of you know your new build the extension and sort of the excitement surrounding Absolutely. having this new part uh, for the Kamloops Hospice to take to to enjoy, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. I think it's just an extension of the wonderful work that's been done every year for many, many years. But especially this past couple of years, we've had um, some great, uh, wonderful additions and changes up at hospice, and just going to really enhance our community uh, programming mm -hmm. for um, the citizens in the area of Kamloops. So. Um, yeah, we're really excited and we love these types of events where we kind of just get to participate in more of a sitting back and enjoying it kind of um, deal versus actually always doing the work and, and these lovely gentlemen and their team of, of musicians are, are just uh, wonderful. Well, yeah. yes, absolutely. We have a little snippet of, of music here that we can play for everybody and you can get an idea. So was this... This, you guys. this was, um, I think, late January, early February. We played a job down at the uh, Desert Garden Senior Center, yeah. but it was for the uh, Lindy and the Loops Dance Club. Okay. They rented the space and got us to come down there. And we... It's fantastic music, right? It's one, I think it's just something that everyone enjoys. Yeah. Um, Mark, I know that you're you're heavily involved, of course, with with uh, Beyond Brass, but also with fundraising for the hospice is something that you really enjoy doing yes I believe in uh, giving back to the community and it's an organization that really benefits our community mm -hmm. and they do wonderful work so the name of the evening is called swing into spring and yes. so we're come and dance and enjoy the big band yeah I'm gonna hold Beyond this Brass. up so that we can yeah. we can get a quick shot of, of the actual poster here so yes so um, this is on Saturday April 6 doors open at 7 performance at 730 
And I think you're going to have a lot of people out there dancing around, right? I That's can't see how you well. sit in yeah. your seat when we're listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much to all three of you for joining us. Thank Again, you. just a, a quick note. Uh, I think you mentioned it, Pamela, but uh, it's entrance by donation. So just so everybody out there knows uh, that you can uh, just uh, drop off a donation at the door and enter through there. There's all the information. The Facebook page is also on our screen as well. We're back in a moment on Midday. Stay with us.